Um, I did go to Arab Rains in Jordan, and I came as a delegate there. I could feel the buzz of the place, the ability to be able to meet people who were wanting uh, this type of product or other people's types of products, and things were happening. So when I decided to come to uh, Africa Brains, I thought I needed more than presents to be able to show off my lovely wares that we sell, so people could see them directly. So I was quite happy to spend a bit more money and do that and get um, you know, access to ministers of um, education in the countries that I wanted to target. And if, if I just give you a broad aspect of what we do, it's uh, firstly we do low vision, so a, a simple magnifier that um, you can wear on your head. You look good, don't I? <laughs> uh, and these will enable someone to have two times magnification, either at long distance or at short distance, to, to read or a uh, piece of paper or to read on the blackboard. Then we move on to more um, advanced low vision devices like this one here. So this device would uh, enable you to put some text underneath it. This is quite clever. I'm going to uh, put the text on sideways. And you've got to remember that a uh, partially sighted person can't read text that size. So what it does is it takes the text and then turns it around in the right way. And then what you can do is just move the highlighter down to an area that you want to read in, double with a single tap, and it takes you exactly to that point. You can make the text whatever size you want. You can change it into what we call diamond edge text. Okay? So we're taking the original text made it really smart um, and uh, so then we can uh, actually have that text read to us so everything I've done has been through there but that's where the brains of the US Android platform and you can even see the document the original document on there imagine you know your mother or someone who loses her sight and she can access her mail that comes through the door you don't have to read it to her or they can read books it's a form of entertainment we also do um, particularly clever things that we can do is just put that bit of uh, paper underneath that camera. It immediately senses there's something there and takes a photo of it. And then it'll start reading the back to you the future pretty people instantly. With low vision, low vision solutions, CCTVs, have been available for over 45 years, but their fundamental design has not changed. Someone said to me this morning, you've already had it stored in there. So just to prove that I have I'll randomly choose any page. This will just take a wee bit longer because it's a bit more complicated document. Close it the door and walks away, for does it seem normal? Do you wonder who thinks so? Then we move on to another area of our business which is uh, talking book players. And this is, uh, I don't know if you know anything about talking books, but for people who are blind, they can't access a normal book. Mm -hmm. So books are actually recorded onto CD by individuals. So the, um, they can use a CD or they can use an SD card or a USB stick to put the information in here. This device will actually uh, talk, um, but you can put t digital talking books into it. You can put MP3 books into it. You can put normal text files into it, you can put EPUB books into it, you can put um, music into it, whatever you like, so it becomes a whole home entertainment system for someone who's visually impaired. And it comes in all the languages that uh, you'd want. Bookshop. Talking books. Two. Talking books. books. Two. Other books. Two. Music. One. Book. All music. There's music in there. Or you've got a book you can listen to. Bookshop. Music. One. Text files. Five. Book. She kept her eyes on that car and her client started. This is just a text file. But she had enough time to see that the car was turning and heading straight for the bushes near. Right. So it's a whole home entertainment system for someone who's blind. This is the same thing, but it's just in a portable format. Absolutely perfect for children at school. Uh, this is our, the, our flagship product, the, the Railnode Apex. This is a laptop for blind people. It uh, doesn't have a screen, but it has braille feedback. So you can see the braille moving. You can put your fingers on there and feel it. 
address list. Okay, the that's how a blind person reads in Braille. Enter yeah. that. Okay. Each of these um, cells is, uh, has a little motor driving it. And there's 32 cells here with eight motors in each cell. There's a lot of motors in there. Uh, but it's got word processor, diary, address list, internet access, um, email, book reading facility, games. Uh, you can emboss from it, you can print from it. Embossing means produce braille. It's got USB on the back, Wi Fi, uh, Bluetooth, monitor access, SD card, just like a normal computer. It doesn't have a screen. The input into it is in braille, so if you press that key, it should say A. And this is the product which has been provided to many schools throughout the world. You know, I'd say 90% of the UK market would use this product in, in schools, so blind kids in school.